I was living in San Francisco and they had decided that I wanted to take a class in acting. So I joined a little improvisational acting group and threw myself into it wholeheartedly for about a year. Changed my life. And during that time, I met John Leslie. I didn't know that John was an adult actor at the time. We, we knew we were, we shared information about acting. One day John called up and asked me if I wanted the opportunity to get in front of the camera. And it was at that point that I was suspicious and I, I thought this could only be a porno movie because there were many being shot in San Francisco at that time. And so uh, I, with some trepidation, I agreed to go and meet the director, and it, I did, and I took the role, which was a straight role, I didn't even have to take my clothes off, it was in a film called V the Hot One, and, uh, and I loved the art of filmmaking immediately, and so that's how it all began for me. In general, the first uh, sex scene I ever did which I write about in detail in, in my new autobiography uh, called Taboo Sacred Don't Touch, um, was difficult. Up until a point, it was fine because it was all acting and there was a lot of action. And it wasn't until we came to actually doing what's known as the penetration, I started to panic inside. There was a moment of sort of a panicky feeling because I knew that once it was shot, it was done. And I was branded with an X from that point on. So it was a pretty dramatic moment. I'd moved from San Francisco to Los Angeles and uh, actually was pursuing a legitimate acting career when Curtis Stevens approached me about doing Taboo. And uh, I, he just called me one day and uh, wanted to meet with me. And, and I was somewhat reluctant for two reasons. Number one, I had sort of decided that I wanted to, I had an agent and I wanted to pursue legitimate acting quote-unquote legitimate acting <laughs> and um, secondly when I read the script because I did agree to read the script in fact I think he told me the rough outline of the script when he he said that it was a, a story about an incestuous relationship between mother and son so our initial meeting uh, and he may remember more about it than I do but our initial meeting was basically that where uh, we talked and over a meal or coffee I think and and he told me what the script was about. And I admit, perhaps I was a little idealistic at the time, but I said, well, I, he's gonna make the movie anyway. <laughs> it might as well be me, at least I can do, I can put some sensitivity and empathy into it. And uh, uh, so I accept it. No, I have no regrets whatsoever. I've never regretted. I'm not a regret person. I think regret is a waste of energy. When it came time to do the incest scene in the movie, um, there were a number of things happening for me at the time. And, and number one, Mike Ranger, who played my son, was an actor that I had never worked with before. I was very much attracted to him. Okay, folks, it's public news now. That's, I, I w there was an attraction between us, so that part of it was easy. When I really sort of went in and ha hung out with the character, I had great empathy for her. As a, a, a woman um, of, shall we say, somewhat advancing years, uh, single, her husband's walked out on her, and, and uh, the uh, the only dates that she can find, or well, at least the date that she just had, is a really sleazy character. I could feel where she was, and here is this son of hers who's not only gorgeous, but oozing with sensuality. And I tried to sort of infuse as much love into the scene, as well as 
passion uh, as, as I could, and it worked out very nicely. <laughs> A couple of years after Taboo was finished and had become successful, we discovered that, in fact, that the energy in the seduction scene in Taboo was incredibly high. And what I attribute that to is the sum total of a lot of energies present, maybe everybody involved at that particular moment in time, but I also believe that there was a, a special connection between Mike and myself and, and Spirit. I don't believe that I ever really achieved that level in any other film that I made. I don't think it was ever quite the same. And I believe that, that it was a setup. <laughs> by spirit in a really good way, <laughs> um, that for some reason this movie, and who, who knew, who knew, I don't know if Cody Stevens or, or Helene knew um, what this movie was going to do, but the fact that it has become such a cult classic, uh, there's it's something to be said about that, and I believe that there were truly mystical forces at work behind this whole endeavor and all of those involved in it. It was after Taboo became so popular that I was continuously offered roles, sight unseen, many of which I turned down. I also became a target uh, to the media because of this uh, shameful uh, woman, this role, this this character, uh, you know, sex always sells, but incest seems to always grab the attention. I've I've frequently found myself in a position where I've had to really either defend my reasons for taking the role. Most people have issues with sexuality, and of course there are enormous numbers of people who have been incested, so it remains a very sensitive subject. During, the, during, I would say, the latter part of my career and then subsequently after I left the business, I continued to lecture about sexuality. I'm attracted to sensitive men, and, but there was certainly a time where a lot of the, the sensitive guys I was meeting were much younger than myself. My book is an autobiographical journey spanning 6,000 years. I really do believe that uh, in sex, we really seek for a union with the divine. It became clear to me that, that one of the reasons that, that I felt that I was there was that I was looking for myself. I was looking for, for, for God, shall we say, but I was looking for myself. I was trying to find out who I was and I had to strip down naked to begin my journey. And that's the way I see it.